Have you ever gone to open up your RV freezer and it looks like the North American blizzard of 96 in there? Everything's just covered in frost. Well, today I'm going to go over some of the reasons why that happens as well as hopefully how to prevent it. So starting off, you kind of have to have an understanding of why frost forms, right? And it's pretty simple. Essentially what it is, is that the warmer the air, the more moisture it can hold, which is why when it's hot, it's humid, it feels super warm and all that water's being held. Well, as we also know, when it's cold, it doesn't hold very much moisture in there. So what happens is we open the freezer door like this, we grab something, all this warm air rushes in. That warm air is holding all that water, it comes in here, it then starts to cool off and that water has to go somewhere, so then it forms as frost inside that freezer cavity. So therefore, it is pretty normal to have some frost in your freezer, especially in a gas absorption refrigerator, which is commonly known as an RV refrigerator, right? The type that run off both uh, electric and propane. Uh, it's, again, quite common to have a decent amount of frost in there. But if it's excessive, if everything in there is covered, there's probably something else going on. So what is it, right? Why is it happening? Well, there's a, a few reasons that are very common why it happens. One of them is if we take something hot, like let's say this cup of water that is half burning my hand as it's steaming here, and I put that in there, right? I don't know, you, you boil the cup of water, you put it in there for three minutes, which my man Aaron tells me is insane for a cup of water and it's a little too hot. Now I need to cool it down. So I put it in the freezer to cool it off. Well, again, because we are putting all of that, uh, that hot air in there, right? Again, the same reason we talked about, well, now it's gonna turn to frost as that starts to cool down. So that's reason number one. If you're putting a lot of warm foods in the freezer, it's going to form frost. Another one is if you jam pack that freezer full, right? And there's just too much. Like, let's say, you know, you have all of your Eggo waffles in here and um, I don't know, whatever else you have in there, some popsicles, and it's just, you know, you kind of shove the freezer shut. Well, it may be just enough that it pops it open slightly. And because it's open, it's gonna let just a ton of warm air in there and that will cover it in frost. And also, if you have anything in the way of the seal, like these amazing old trapper deli style beef sticks, uh, let's say I have those in here. Can't believe I still have them, haven't eaten them all, but uh, let's say I put it in the door like that and there's just enough that when I go to shut it, that is in the way of the seal, right? In between the seal and the refrigerator. Again, it's gonna create that gap where that warm air can get in there and form frost. So, if you're not putting anything hot in there, you know, you're not jam packing it, you're, you're checking and there's nothing that is in the way of the seal. Again, even something as thin as like a grocery bag is enough that it can uh, let that warm air in. So as long as the seal is clear, well then it's time to examine the seal itself. So we're gonna take a look kind of all the way around and make sure there aren't any imperfections, right? Or any chunks or anything, uh, any places where it may be slightly deformed. We wanna make sure the seal looks good all the way around. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure when we close it, again, you kinda want to visually inspect and make sure that it is, it is uh, evenly sealed all the way around the entire door that we don't have, again, any gaps. Because sometimes you may not see it, but when it closes, it may not secure quite right. Uh, something to really help with that is what's commonly called the dollar bill test, or in my case, the $5 bill test. So all you're going to do is you're going to take it, you're gonna shut the refrigerator door on it just like that, and you're going to pull it out. And you should have moderate resistance while pulling out. It shouldn't be so much that you have to struggle or it tears the dollar, um, but it also shouldn't be so loose that it just you know, freely flies in and out of there because obviously if the dollar bill can do it, the air is going to be able to as well. So if we've checked all that, you know, again, nothing hot in there. There's nothing in the way of the seal. The seal looks good. We're not opening and closing it an excessive amount and we're still just getting a ton of frost. Well, folks, that's when it's time to take it into your local service center and have it looked at. So that way it's able to be diagnosed and get to the root cause. But for most situations, what we just covered right there should fix your frost problems. I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. If you did, make sure you give it a like and subscribe so you can be the first one to see more how-to and troubleshooting tips.